the tortured poet department. It's a tongue twister. Tortured to poet department. It's midnight right now. <gasps> it's real. It's real and it's right in front of us and it's an hour and five minutes long. What's up internet? My name is Savvy. I'm Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. We're so stoked for you to be joining us for the Torture Poets reaction. Obviously, we ourselves are tortured Swifties. This is not a sponsored video. Um, however, I would like for it to be, so. Why are we so nervous for this one? I, there's been so much more hype around this. Like the community of Swifties has grown exponentially since like even the midnight Am I checking era? my pulse right now? That's like I don't want to what know what I'm doing. Rate. So not only do I have Notes. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> um, I also have our drinking game for the listening party. And then I also printed out the Tortured Poets Wikipedia page with the notes and the annotations. Damn. Let's talk about the album cycle because this album cycle has been completely overwhelming like from a fan perspective. Like I feel like we have just been, first of all, clowning for ages about mm. this double rep drop. It's not gonna happen as much as I wish it would. The Torture Poets Department timetable, all of the clocks set to two. Is something happening at 2 a.m.? Do we need to be paying attention? Well, What's going on? 2 p.m. is when, 2 p.m. 2 p.m. was when the merch dropped. No, no, not was when the single dropped. Mm -hmm, when they right? announced that it would be the single. But I'm just curious, is something else happening at 2 a.m.? Maybe? My brain is like mush because of how many like Easter eggs and like- Truly. Theories that people have and- Not to mention the pop-up. Yeah. Not to mention like everything, the QR, the QR codes, codes around the world. like the digital scavenger hunt, as well as like physical scavenger hunt. Just how chaotic this week has been, I think it speaks to her like professionalism because there were a lot of women that had albums debut within the past two months and for her to not do any promo for this album. And just have until this week. Chaotic and, Swifties. And like let everyone else shine and have their time and then be like, okay. My turn. All right. Cowboy Carter was album of the year worthy though. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've been spending a lot of time on the internet. Yeah. Going into a lot of theories. Yeah. And so I don't know if my brain is going to be able to connect all of the, the theories. The rabbit hole but... has been down. Correct. We're ready to wipe our tears here. Track one and the first single and the music video that we're getting tomorrow. <gasps> Fortnite today. We're getting it today. Today, technically. Tonight. Fortnite featuring Post Malone. I'm so excited. I was supposed to be sent away, but they forgot to come and get me. Slutty folklore. Oh! Slutty folklore. Where the album is going, I'm 
so hype about it's this. It's so moody. Interesting pick for a first single. And for a first track. Like, this is the opening track. Yeah. And it's about a mutual cheating. Mmm. I'm... You know? Well, I didn't... Because she's got a husband, but she touched you for a fortnight, but I hate your wife. But that I was before. Dead. But that was before. That was before. It's just interesting. Cheating can be emotional. It can be Absol an emotional. Well, that's how I took it. I took it as this is like a very much an emotional affair kind of situation from one side and then from the other side. Other side, side very physical. physical yeah. yeah. But she didn't also, she, it wasn't explicitly said what kind of cheating. Also foreshadowing to the track Florida. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. With Florence. So but it says move to Florida. I'm trying really hard to pay more attention to the lyrics this time. If you guys have seen any of our previous reactions, you know I hear the music first, she hears yeah, the lyrics yeah. first, and I'm a little slow. The next track is the title track. I love a title track. This is the, t the Tortured Poet Department. It's a tongue twister. Tortured to Poet's Department. La 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 la. <laughs> Bitch! giving loving someone with mental illness ah uh, yeah yeah and then yeah. accepting that you have one too <laughs> for me it's just <laughs> like through those lyrics it's a little bit too deep because it's giving when you fall in love with the emotionally unavailable person mm. or the person who self-sabotages mm -hmm. or the person who can't love themselves mm -hmm. enough to love you back mm -hmm. <sighs> and in those lyrics like you 
you feel her accepting that, like, I knew this, I signed up for it, and I know it, because, oh, I do it too. Right, 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 like, it's oh, it's, anti-hero. It was so validating because I said the same thing. Uh-huh. Yikes. Yeah. That one had a lot of bejeweled, the glitter, the, like, sparkles of bejeweled I in the loved background. That. It I was loved... so interesting for how devastating of a song it was. That, and it just had that, like, coming of age kind of vibe to it. Mm -hmm. It's interesting that that wasn't the first track. I agree. It's interesting to me. I feel me. like there has to be a reason for it. Yeah. But I'm probably not going to know what that Go is ahead. until like, you know. Keep your secrets. 15 listens from yeah. now when it wow. suddenly just clicks. The next track is My Boy Only Breaks His Favorite Toys, mm -hmm. which is the first song that is entirely self-written on this album. Okay. Oh, here we go again. The voice is in his head. Ooh. Call the rain to end our days of wild But you should have seen him when he first got me My boy only breaks his favorite toys oh. There was a litany of reasons why we could have played for keeps this time I know I'm just repeating myself Back on myself first Pull the string and I'll tell you that he runs Because he loves me Imagine being in her position now and looking at this song, this final line that says, left all these broken parts, told me I'm better off, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. And now it's like, girl, you are, you mm. are though. The part about the Kens, that wasn't the, not you're losing me, hits different. She talks about the all these kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. A bop, but then ouch. Which is weird because I thought we didn't have any glitter gel pen songs on this album. That was that that felt suspiciously like a glitter gel pen make you want to get up and dance kind of. Song. Yeah, but ouch. We're not even to track five yet. I don't speak to track me four. like that. <laughs> Lower your tone down bad. Anything like Midnight Rain, I'm fucked. Did you really beat me up? In a cloud of sparkling dust. Just to do experiments on. Oh. Tell me I was the chosen one. No. Show me that this world is bigger than us. No. And sent me back where I came from. For a moment, I knew cosmic love.
destroy me later but for now i'm like yeah <laughs> amount of lyrics because we have the lyrics scrolling too that are in quotes yeah there are lyrics in quotes meaning they were said i that part i might just die it would make no difference it would it's been so long since i've had like a down bad kind of love yeah same i mean it's been decades <laughs> okay track five okay before we jump into the track five. A Swifty reached out to me via my DMs on Instagram asking if she could send me a uh, Swifty shirt to wear for this reaction. Unfortunately, it didn't arrive in time, mm. so obviously I can't wear it tonight, but I do still want to share their shop. Let anyone who's interested go find it. You can see it all in the links below. Now it's time for track five, So Long London. So it's the first song with Aaron Dessner co-writing. Oh, shit. This one, is this the nine minute one? <laughs> that was, that was edited. Oh. That was AI. I know, they got you. So, so. She's heard great things about I left all I knew You left me at the house by the heath I stopped CPR after all It's no use The spirit was gone We would never come to I'm pissed off you let me give you All that youth for free How dare you? Holding tight to your quiet resentment And my friend said it isn't right To be scared Every day a love affair When you're not sure if he wants to be there how she can write around mental illness mm -hmm. because you get what she's saying and you get that she's like I had to like save myself I couldn't keep saving you right and like in my life it just like speaks to when you're with the right person how like how great it is yeah how and much that, of a like, difference it really makes it does make that like fuck you know, they can be there with you right. in that low. They can be in it. And they can be in it and get you out. And, like, when it's not the right person, like, it's not fair to the other person. Yeah. This All is right. probably one of, that is one of the best top fives. A, or what? I'm sorry. One of the best track fives. It's a beautiful song, and it's so tragic. <laughs> um. Okay. okay well, I'm going to take a quick break because he wants to go outside. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll be right back. We'll take a moment for we'll that one. Together. She posted, and I think it's beautiful what she said. What did she say? The tortured poets department, an anthology of new works that reflect events, opinions, and sentiments from a fleeting and fatalistic moment in time. One that was both sensational and sorrowful in equal measure. This period of the author's life is now over. The chapter closed and boarded up. 
There is nothing to avenge, no scores to settle once wounds have healed, and upon further reflection, a good number of them turned out to be self-inflicted. This writer is of the firm belief that our tears become holy in the form of ink on a page. Once we have spoken our saddest story, we can be free of it. Mm -hmm. And then all that's left behind is the tortured poetry. Yeah. I love that. Can you scroll through? I just need to see all these All her photos of how stunning she oh, is. Mm -hmm. That was beautiful what she wrote there. Where she's like, it's over. It's done. Yep. We're not going to talk about him. We've moved on. You know? We're going to need a, uh, I need to crack my energy drink after that one. Because that made me sad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. <laughs> I guess we're just supposed to keep listening. I guess. We're supposed to just move on with our life after that one. <laughs> the next track is, but daddy, I love him. No. I'm most excited for this song only because of my like little obsession, obsession with the Little Mermaid yes. as a child. This is another Desner Swift collab. I forget how the West was won. I forget if this was ever fun. I just learned these people only raise you to cage you. Watching their pearls lie in what a mess. I just learned these people try and save you. like the notebook i know you can relate to this but as someone listening to this with like religious trauma it's like and small town trauma Woo! yeah 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 i think they used the same guitar in this song that like antique like 1950s guitar mm. i think they used the same guitar in this as they did in invisible string 
which is wild Aww. as far as choices go. Hear me out, but Daddy I Love Him could be a Travis Kelsey song. Yeah, that's could not be. a that's not a sad song. It's about like the scandal and what everyone else wants for me and I don't want that and Yep, 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 yep. He's a weirdo and I like weirdos. <laughs> Although I wonder if this is the one that people think is about Matty Healy. <laughs> Are you ready? Fresh okay. out the slammer. Okay, why'd we get in? <laughs> okay. Oh, is it a ballad? I'm not That's not like Western. Now, pretty baby, I'm running back home to you. Fresh out the slammer, I know who my first call will be to you. I'm almost thinking that's the Maddie song. I'm fresh out the slammer and flesh out my relationship. Oh. Who am I going straight to? Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I don't know. Cause like, see, I you could talk about being handcuffed is a relationship. And like you were True. handcuffed to that relationship. You did your time. Now you're fresh out. See, I interpreted this as being in the kind of toxic relationship that many of us have been in, mm -hmm. where your partner is manipulative to the point of like ignoring you mm. and sort of like just purposefully mm. withholding communication and affection. And mm. it, that is a very similar feeling to me to doing time. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, okay, I've done my time, like, they're not mad at me anymore, of yeah. course I'm gonna run straight back to them, like, of course I'm not seeing the red flags, of course I don't see that this is a behavior that is not healthy in relationships. Right. And how it's but that's, like, that's, my friends that's warned so, me, but I do anything yes. to see the smile. Yes, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So I don't know if that's I'm how... I'm gonna have to listen to that one more. I'm gonna have to listen to every single yeah. song more, because Lord knows I never grasped these on the first listen. Florida! Featuring Florence and the Machine. Interesting. I'm so hype about this. We we're both really hype about this mm -hmm. because the Tampa show was the first show after the news of the breakup. So it was a weird time. It's very strange it was time. A very strange it was a very time. Very strange show for us. Mm, this will be interesting. I'm interested to see if it's a uh, how the Post Malone collab was, or if it'll be more like a more like a true feature. Yeah. You can be the heat. Oh. Beat the charges too. Oh, oh. And my friends all smell like weed or a little baby. Okay. <laughs> so you work your life away just to pay for a time shut down in Destin, Florida. <laughs>
up place here. It is a fucked up place indeed. As a Florida resident, it's great to visit. Which is Don't exactly what they're saying. You know exactly. How, you need to hide a body in a swamp? Florida. Florida. There was literally a gator in my front yard today. That's a fact. Literally. <laughs> you want to forget stuff? Come to Florida. I loved the Florence Welch feature. Oh, that was amazing. It was, it was so satisfying to hear like a full-fledged feature. That was on good. On the track. It also felt like the second half to No Body, No Crime. It w it was definitely giving nobody. It was no giving vibe. those vibes, a hundred percent. Guilty of Sin is the next track, which is also like the thickest book in the pop up library. So I'm very interested to hear. Ooh. Why? I got anti hero right away. Drowning in the blue. at production that all of it this was incredible i think we were talking the other day about do we think taylor swift has read akatar yeah maybe not akatar but maybe some emily mcintyre something <laughs> she she'd be reading something something this girl reads smut that's for sure this whole album we're talking about a physical affair and an emotional affair yeah that was the also, I love the twang in that. Yeah, it almost has like a it's got like Fleetwood a, Mac kind of And like this country vibe. twang is resonating throughout some of these songs. It's Maybe that's why people have said it has like red vibes. Wow. Oh, that was. No, this hits. This is, it's going to be a no skips album. I know it. I know it's going to be no skips. I think it's going to be even more of a true no skip than Midnight's was. For me, that's I, where I met. I'm still undecided about the Post Malone song Fortnite. I need to re-listen to that one. Yeah, we'll revisit because I can't remember that song. We'll revisit. Who's afraid of little old me? The other solo self-written track. Okay. The who's who of who's that is poised for the attack, but my bare hands paved their paths. You don't get to tell me about sad mm. 
So I leap from the gallows and I levitate down your street. Crash the party like a record scratch as I scream. Because she's the whip. She's the bride of little old me. Ah! You should be. Oh my god, it is. Oh, everything comes back to Sarah J. Mass. I swear to God. Yeah. She's like, you're going to call me a witch? Bitch, fine. Fine. I'm going to levitate, me levitate off those, down the street. I'm going to levitate <laughs> off that gallows. You pulled out my teeth? Don't care. Uh, that that might be the anthem song. I liked that one. That was, yeah, that, that's a good that's one. That's a good one. That's, that's a good, good This is good. This is good. I can fix him. No, really, I can't. <laughs> A small cloud billows out his mouth like a freight train through a small town. Oh. Take a head saying, God help her when I tell him he's my man. Oh. But your good Lord doesn't need to lift a finger. I can fix him. No, really, I can. And only I can. Oh. And I Perfect case for my certain skill set. <laughs> he had a halo of the highest grade. He just hadn't met me yet. Giving vigilance. It's kind of cowboy like me esque. And only I can. Ooh! Good. like sonically cohesive yes it's just a very different approach from like what we last got with midnights 
I feel like Midnight's was more synth pop than this yeah. is turning out to be. LOML. What do you think? Love of my life? Mm. Loss of my life? Mm. Piano. Piano intro! Who's gonna stop us from waltzing back into rekindled flames? Oh. If we know the steps anyway. Oh. We embroidered the memories of the time I was away. Stitching, we were just kids, babe. I thought I was better safe than starry eyed. I felt a glow like this. fucking track five yeah what the that was beautiful and tragic all at the same time which we kind of knew was coming but at the same time was i prepared no that hits a little bit too hard yeah that so a little bit too hard i think you can have loves of your life and losses of your life yeah. Because I really resonate that with a love that I thought was of my life, mm. but turned out to be a loss, but mm -hmm. a loss that maybe was for the better, but it was still a big loss, you know? I can do it with broken heart. I can do it with broken heart. I'm like still recovering. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a tough one. Okay. All right. I feel better. I can read your mind. Having the time of her life. Oh. There in her glittering prime, the lights reflect sequin stars are for silhouette every night. I can show you, cause I'm a real tough kid. I can handle my shit. They said, Babe, you gotta fake it till you make it, and I did. Ice oh. camera bitch smile, <laughs> even when you wanna die. I was grinning like I'm winning. I was I can do it with a broken heart Crucial evidence I didn't imagine the whole thing I'm sure 
I can pass Of course. I'm a real tough kid. I can handle my shit. Breaking down, I hit the floor. All the pieces of me shattered as the crowd was chanting more. doing this with a broken fucking heart. I cry every day, but I'm so productive. <laughs> oh my gosh. This um, I'm obsessed with that so song. Much. I love that song. <laughs> that is my flavor I, of mental <laughs> illness. Are you ready for the smallest man who ever lived? Oof. Sure, I guess. Smallest man. Was any of it true? Fuck me. Gazing at me, starry eyed. Did weren't we just bopping around? Jehovah's witness suit. He tried to buy some pills from a friend of friends of mine. Messy. They just ghosted you. <laughs> now you know. Resting my sparkling summer was the goal <gasps> And I don't miss what we had but could someone give A message to the smallest man who ever lived Okay! In public showed me off Did you know? Then sank in stone oblivion You did It's giving Maddie, uh -huh. but I don't know. I need to hold on one the moment. Whole, like, I have to research and put you on my wall with the push pin. Kick out and the then stage you kicked lights. Out the stage yeah, light. that's what really got me. It does look like a Jehovah's Witness suit. That's immediately what I thought mm -hmm. about. It is ugly ass untailored suit. This is so personal and like so evil though. It Resting makes me think summer, of the Eras tour and tour. everyone was like, ew, screw him, cancel him. Yeah. You deserve prison, but you won't get time. That I'm like, and Taylor, like, this is an allegation. And the like, brought against someone. Buying pills for my friend and you got ghosted. So now you know how it feels. Cause they rekindled. Like they were a thing before. That's what I'm saying. Mm. The alchemy, which alchemy is turning things into gold, right? Is that correct? Oh! This happens once every few lifetimes. These chemicals hit me like why But I'm coming back so strong. So when I Oh, 
living under my roof. Anything with an R&B vibe, I'm so in. But I'm making a comeback to where I belong. Because they said there was no chance Trying to be the greatest in the league Where's the trophy? He just comes running over meant to be yeah it's giving faded it's wow. giving mates i love it i like that i'm one. so into this and this is the second song on the album that i'm gonna call a travis track yeah because it's like the heroin reference Ooh. had me thinking maddie at first yeah kind of thrown. with like touchdown booty call you know mm -hmm. like we'll pick it back up it was lots of sports references definitely bench warmers trophy Yep. You know, mm, touchdown. Mm -hmm, yep. Mm -hmm. Why were sports on your on your mind? Taylor? I was thinking touchdown of a plane. Oh, like you touched down. I didn't land. think of it that way. Where's the trophy? He it. just comes running over to me. <laughs> That's giving Super Bowl. Yeah. But this was already done by the time the Super Bowl came around, so it's like, was it? Yeah. She announced first week of February. February. The Grammys was after the Super Bowl. No, the Grammys was before the Super Bowl. This is a. a, a Solid. I like that. Track. Yeah. Ooh. And it's a great, like, what's second to last? Penultimate. Fabulous penultimate track. Oh, look at you. Look at me. Clara Bow. The It Girl. Interesting. Honey. Yeah. Let's find out. ever written I, her name into her lyrics is she passing the baton that's sort of what it feels like to it's the like next it girl maybe not the next it girl but maybe just the next anybody the next singer songwriter the next yeah. lyricist who's out there oh i have chills yeah i have chills because like the clara bow reference is so good i love and the stevie, stevie Nicks. Nicks. yes and it's like 
yeah, she is going to go down for all of the things she's accomplished and all the records she's broken. And like, that was an interesting think, way to end. Yes. Because it, you know what it did is it switched up the POV of like who this song is written by. And it's very much like written by the media, mm -hmm. written by a third party, mm -hmm. not written by Taylor Swift, even though obviously it is. Right. But just the commentary on different women in different generations. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Yep. But I do love how this album sits in relation to what she posted about how, like, listen, it was in heels. Yep. It was a point in time. Yep. And what's done is done. We're not going to avenge it. It's so interesting how she talked about this album being a lifeline mm. for her because you can feel every step of the way how mm -hmm. she's processed different situations, instances, self-reflections. Like, it's just very insightful. Yeah. It's not as damning as previous albums have been. Yeah. Like, it's not it's, the, I like, smoking gun album of, like, here's what happened and this is why we're never getting back together. Exactly. It was more just... I think it's a more philosophical, yeah. self-reflective approach. She's grown and we've grown. Yeah, and, you know? it's, a, it's a poetic yeah. take on each step of that grieving process. Definitely Midnight's big tra traumatized sister. <laughs> yeah, and but a little bit of slutty folklore. A little bit of slutty folklore. People said it and I'm it. here for it, you know? Yeah, and, some and Evermore hear... too. Like it all, those four albums make so much sense. But then the you think about the Red influence too. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks for coming. Thanks and for it's two o two. Did you want to check <gasps> if, anything if anything happened? happened. Right. One minute ago, it's a two a.m. surprise. It's a double album. It's a two a.m. surprise. The Tortured Poets Department is a secret double album. What? I so much tortured poetry in the last two years, and wanted to share it all with you. So here's the <laughs> second installment of the Torture Poets Department, the anthology. Oh my god! 15 extra songs. Let's go! And now the story isn't mine anymore, it's yours. <laughs>